Hey guys, it's Ryan Combs here out at, here at Liberty Estate. We're just going over the steel erection here. And as you can see, I've got some guys out here, they're laying out for the steel pan that we're gonna put over these beams. And they're welding on some templates and they're just doing the layout. And then later, we're gonna start laying each set of pan. And that pan will be welded on each beam, every other run on the pan itself. So if you look, got some corrugated uh, grooves in there and every other one will be welded onto the beam. Then after that, after everything's complete, we'll pour in four inches of concrete and that'll be the second floor on this house. So unlike many other homes, you can actually send the kids upstairs and it's gonna be more quiet upstairs than maybe downstairs. Pretty wild. Early on, you know, when we're putting the Fox Flocks up and we're working with ICF specialists, they take the plans and they do a really good job. Doug runs an amazing crew over there at getting all the embeds in where they need to be. And on this house, we actually haven't had but maybe one issue that wasn't even really embed related where all the beams sit. So great job to ICF specialists. If you guys are building anything with ICF, Fox Blocks, you need to call those guys. They have been amazing for us over here at AFT. Just an amazing trade partner. So over here at Liberty Estate, right now I'm standing in the garage. Um, if you notice over here, the difference in this beam compared to the one over the garage is the guys at Alignment Steel have welded a bunch of rebar on here for me. Now that we have this beam in over the, the largest span of the garage, we're going to add some more ICF and Fox Locks. Stack it up, we'll add the embeds, and then we can put our remaining five beams on and then continue on with the second floor on this side. What the guys will also do, they'll come back, we'll wet, uh, weld down some pegs underneath, and that'll be for any of the framing that we need to fur down the garage, add the arches. So we'll add three, four inch pegs, put on our two by sixes or whatever we need to frame that area. That way we can just drill the holes, put that two by six up there and then frame down where we need on all the openings. But this go ahead, you know, this gives us the strength we need over those large spans. So we're up here on the pool lounge area. As you can see, we'll, we'll build up some block on the pool. And right here, there'll be some pool loungers with some large trees. But if you're looking at the house from here, you can see that we made three beams too long. No, I'm just kidding. So these beams are actually for a little viewing area that will be right off side, like outside of the exercise room. So these beams are made long on purpose. We'll have a nice viewing deck. We'll have a nice railing up there and you'll just be able to overlook your entire yard of you know the retention, the soccer field, the pool house, and the, a great view of the pool, right? So it's gonna be pretty amazing. And if you stay tuned, we'll. We're gonna get the rest of the pan on and start going on the second floor ICF. So right here, we're standing in front of the garages at Liberty Estate. You can see we got our largest run garage that has the large beam. We purposely set it a little higher just so that we can weld pegs onto it and frame down the arch. Obviously, it's a lot easier to build the arch with wood than it is with the ICF. So that was one request that ICF specialists asked that maybe we could get an RFI, change the beam a little bit, and not do it all in ICF. So we, we went through Broderick and did that. There's gonna be some amazing details off the side of the house here. Got some nice pop outs. So we will have some three-sided steel framing right here. That'll give it the support. We have the porta cache So imagine you drive into your beautiful driveway, you drive under this porta cache On the right, it's gonna have some garbage, garbage cans in here, your recycle bin, all gonna be covered in a doorway so you never have to look at them. And then, it's actually got an area for the both water heaters as well. Here we're standing in the Porta Cache at Liberty Estate. You'll come in off the road, drive underneath here, head down to your driveway, swing out a little bit, pull into the, the garages. Right here on the right, we'll have the garbage and uh, you know, you'll have your recycle bin. It's all gonna be framed, closed in, nice and neat. On the left, you got your water heaters, tankless water heaters, and then on the back side, we're actually doing you know the AC yard be all nice and closed. Be four units on this side. We got a couple on the other side. All right, guys, time to sign off here at Liberty Estate. Just a little update for the next couple weeks. We're gonna finish welding the steel pan onto the second floor. Uh, we'll go ahead and make sure that all the trades get through the, get through the floor, get any rough-ins they need, all our depressions down for the showers and good stuff like that. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll come back and We'll pour the four inches of lightweight concrete over that, get us a nice solid floor, 
and then ICS specialists will come back in and start sacking the Fox Fox again uh, for our second story on Liberty Estate. And as they do that, you know, we'll start bringing all the rebar down for the second floor windows, making sure that's all in, and dialing in all, all those rough openings, and we're gonna have us a second floor. So stay tuned as we, uh, we follow back up in a few weeks and show you the progress.